Hello everyone. So today I'll be talking about how you can handle JSON data in JavaScript. JSON, which is known as JavaScript object notation, is basically a way to represent data through text. It exists as a string and it will support all the basic data types that are supported by a standard JavaScript object. There are two methods which I'll be showing or discussing today in this video. One is called the parse method and another is called the stringify method. Quick introduction about both the methods. So parse is a method which is used to deserialize or convert a JSON string into a JavaScript object. So this is highly used while accessing some external API or the server response. And this is basically when the response will come, we'll convert the response to a JavaScript object and then access the elements of the response. So that's a parse. The stringify method is used to serialize or convert a JavaScript object into a JSON string. And this is used when we are basically transferring data to an external API or server. So parse is basically converting a JSON string to a JavaScript object, whereas stringify is converting a JavaScript object to a JSON string. So let's see some examples. As you can see, we'll be talking about two methods, parse and stringify, uh, to show you how we can handle JSON data using these two methods. So first we'll be talking about parse method. So let me create a string now. So that's JSON string. And I'm using this one to make sure that I can use multi-line. So I'll start with name. So let's say this is my name. Country. And let's say Canada. Uh, my favorite cars. And let's say this time we'll have some array here. Honda and BMW. And employed. True. So that's the JSON string that I have. Now, as you can see here, uh, in the JSON string, I have all the kinds of variable, like I have string, I have array, I have Boolean. Now I want to convert this string to a JavaScript, to a JSON object using the parse method. So what I can do, let me create this JSON object. And then what I can do, I can use the parse method and pass and in the parse method, pass, pass this JSON string as a parameter. And now let me print this JSON object. And if I do that, I do that, you can see there is an object that is getting printed where each element is the, uh, where, where each information is an element to the object, like the country, employee, favorite colors, favorite cars, as you can see, it's a Honda and BMW. And this is my name. So this is the way how we can use the parse method to convert a string to a JavaScript object. And the beauty is that now you can pass like, you know, now you can use a dot uh, notation and access any element of the string. Like if I put name, this is my name. If I put my country, uh, this is my country. So this is the way how you can use the parse method to convert a string to a JavaScript object. And this is highly uh, this is highly used when you are getting some response from an API, and you want to parse that, and then you want to use that. You and then you have to use the dot method, dot notation to access the different element from the response. So that's the parse method. Now the next method that we'll be talking about is the stringify, which is doing exactly the opposite. Like you know, if you have a JavaScript object and you want to convert to a JSON string. And this is very much important uh, when you are transferring any data to an external server. So you need to, you know, do a, a serialize. And the way to do the serialize is using the string stringify method. So now, as we as we know that this object is basically a JavaScript object. Now let's say I want to pass that object to an external server. 
the way I can, before doing that, I need to serialize. And the way I can do that, let's say JSON as serialized. I can use the serialize method. Uh, I can use the stringify method and then pass this entire object. And if I come to a console.log now and print this serialized one, I can see that now my entire object is converted to a string. So this is this is required when you are passing or you are transferring any object over the network, like to an external server. I hope you like this video. Please share and hit the like icon. And also please subscribe to my channel to get updated about all my upcoming videos. Till then, thank you. Bye-bye.